Welcome to the World of Warcraft Survival Guide for the Dragonflight Pre-Expansion Patch, the next major content update coming to World of Warcraft. I'm Hazel. I'm Nagura. And I'm Sidhu. We'll be your guides as you return to Azeroth to experience the prologue events of Dragonflight, take your first steps on the Dragon Isles, and meet an all-new race and class, the Drag Theory Evoker. The pre-patch will be coming in two parts. The first phase is starting soon, and the second phase will follow a few weeks after. The first phase introduces a fresh new talent design for all classes, expanded class choices, an updated user interface, rated solo shuffle and PvP, and newly free barbershop services. When you log into the Dragonflight pre-expansion patch, you're going to see an all-new talent system for every class. Whether you're a fearsome druid, a deadly hunter, or a demonic warlock, your class talents have been redesigned from the ground up to give you more choices in how you play your character than ever before. All characters' talents have been reset, so you can get started selecting spells and abilities, and you can now save your selections, share them, and import talent loadouts right there in the talent window. Dragonflight is going to include a maximum character level of 70, so don't forget that 10 more levels and 10 more talent points are coming with the launch of Dragonflight. For the talent system, everyone will log in with a preset starter build so they don't have any interruptions to their gameplay, but they can re-customize it and create loadouts to suit their playstyle. Along with the updated talent systems, three classes are now available to all races. Any race can now be a mage, a priest, or a rogue. Yes, at long last, you're free to be a Tauren mage, or an orc priest, or a Drenai rogue. I'm especially looking forward to seeing all of the High Mountain Tauren rogues. Or not seeing them. They've got this. The user interface has seen a major update, and it now includes a fully customizable heads-up display. You can select Edit Mode in the Game menu to bring up the full range of options for every element on the screen. And that includes a couple of default presets that you can choose to make your layout a crisp new modern look or switch back to the classic look you know and love. The UI update comes with several new accessibility features, including additional options for targeting and interacting with game elements, and additional support for gamepad type controllers. The pre-expansion patch is a PvP offseason, but player versus player action is in full swing. In addition to an updated talent system and PvP talents for all classes, you can now queue for Rated Solo Shuffle. If you haven't tried Solo Shuffle yet, it's a PvP brawl available in the PvP Finder and you don't need a group to join. Previously, there was no PvP rating considered, but now, the Rated version of Solo Shuffle is available so you can solo queue and find out what it's like to join teammates and take on opponents who are closer to your skill level. If you find yourself in a solo shuffle with me, good luck, you're gonna need it. If you're a frequent customer at the barber shop, we have some great news. Those services in World of Warcraft are now free to all players. The barber shop used to cost some gold, but that's no longer the case. You can hit the randomize appearance button like crazy, try out your new look, and if you realize you don't like it, come back and try something different for free. In the second phase of the pre-expansion patch, you'll create and start leveling a new race, the Drakthir. An ancient race of humanoid dragonkin, the Drakthir are shapeshifters who go from a draconic form to a humanoid visage and back as they wield the magic of all five dragonflies. You'll start in a newly rediscovered Forbidden Reach, where long ago Drakthir trained as soldiers of Naltharion before you move on to join either the Alliance or the Hordes. All Drakthir characters belong to a new hero class, the Evoker. Evokers were a male and choose between two specializations, Devastation and Preservation. The Devastation Evoker is a ranged magic using damage dealer who focuses on the powers of the red and blue dragonflies. While the Preservation Evoker is a healer who calls upon the abilities of the Bronze Dragonfly to manipulate time, as well as the magic of the Green Dragonfly to heal. Evokers use a new type of spell called Empower. By holding down a button, you'll charge up a spell, causing it to do more damage or hit more targets. After a spell has been fully empowered, you have a little time to keep holding it and release it when you're ready. And after a few seconds, if you're still holding it fully empowered, the spell will cast automatically. Also coming soon, pre-expansion events will start with the max level revamp of the Uldaman dungeon and the arrival of elemental storms in select zones. The storms infuse local creatures with additional powers, making primalist world bosses appear. 
And as you know, invading elementals and primalists must be defeated. The Dragonflight pre-expansion patch is coming soon. And then shortly after, you'll be able to create your own Drakthir Evoker and fight back the invading storms. Keep an eye on worldofwarcraft.com for more on this and other upcoming content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in Azeroth.